it going, everyone? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE, and today we have a very special ration. Today's ration is a Spanish survival ration. This particular one is a 24-hour ration. This was sent to us by MRE Zone. I'll put the link in the description for MRE Zone's uh, eBay store and all that stuff. So this is a very odd ration. This is manufactured by a company called Jomipsa. Jomip Jomipsa? Well, maybe that's how you pronounce it. But they make the Spanish military rations. They make a bunch of different rations. This particular one, I'm not sure if that's a, a production date, <clears throat> a 418, but the expiration date is uh, 7 of 2020. So it's definitely still way good. And on the front, it has a few markings on it. It says food ration pack, 24 hours, and then it has individual ration for one day. On the rear, it has enough groceries for a whole day, your nutritional needs we fully met for intense physical activity day Ooh. Uh, non-food accessories that will make the ration use easier probably toiletries and such we'll see um, a heating system for the main the main day meals if necessary instructions to be found inside this bag water purification tablets if necessary each tablet will sterilize the amount of water indicated on its own package let the water dissolve, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we know how to do the water purification tablets. It says, use a food ration to keep, use a food ration tin to keep the trash. Uh, once it's full, please put the closest waste collection point. And it says, best before, see packaging. We've already seen the packaging. And this is manufactured in Alicante, Spain. Hmm. Should be interesting. Without any further ado. You guys know the link for the knives is in my Amazon in my Amazon store in the description. Um, I say it all the time, but everybody still asks me. I'm not really sure why, but that's where it's at if you want to buy it. It's very inexpensive. Let's go ahead and slice and dice this baby open without cutting into the contents. And like I said, I have no idea what's in this, but we're about to find out. Holy, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So, first of all, we have uh, a part English and, <laughs> and part uh, Spanish sheet here. So we have uh, composites, I guess components. Uh, it's like it's weird because it's half, it's half and half, right? So chewing gum. Pate de fruit, bar de chocolate, so fruit pate, chocolate, and the boysen isotonic, so I guess boysenberry, uh, the gat too, whatever the heck that is. I don't know. Let's just translate as we go. We'll figure it out as we go. We have some crackers. These are similar to the, uh, I can't remember this. That's South American crackers that are very similar to this. Portugal, Portuguese. We have... A little thing of napkins or TP, if you will. We have a silverware set or a plasticware set, as this is. We have pasta blognaise. Blognaise. Probably saying that wrong. You guys will crucify me for that one. And we have uh, the plat cuisine. So, yeah, these are very similar to the Portuguese rations. Uh, we have the cinnamon cake. It's always a party. We have, well here, let's take a look at this first. So let's take a look at the ration heaters. Nice big white ration heaters. They have two, only two large uh, elements in it instead of four like a lot of them. But these will definitely work good, no doubt. We'll go ahead and open up our accessory pack. This has a fair amount of stuff in it. And we have lemon flavored isotonic drink. We have another lemon flavored isotonic drink, 20 grams. We have a fruit jelly. This is the fruit pat tay bar, I guess. We have another one of those. And we have our cafe. Yeah, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. A package of sugar. We have a sticker that says 108. Don't be needing that. We have a dark chocolate bar. We have four water purification tablets. We have two pieces of Happy Dent gum. 
All right, well, let's get her started. Okay. We don't need that quite yet. We're gonna go and get these ration heaters going. I'm not so sure if we need these both of them. Oh, they have their own ration heaters too, look at that. Now yeah, we'll use both of them to hell with it, right? Okay, scooch you in just a little bit here. The ration heaters, I threw them outside. They're cooking out there. The stank was unbearable coming off of those. So, we'll get those here in a second. Let's go do our drinks real quick. We have some cafe. I'll go ahead and chuck that in our hot water. Always take a look though. Gotta take a little look-see first. You never know. That is some instant coffee, so we know that's good. Super, well, maybe it's freeze dried. It's just real fine. It's finer, more fine. Not finer, more fine than uh, your average, your average coffee. So Mava Ein's Caffey, coffee. I got myself saying it now. I was jokingly saying that at first, but now I'm actually saying it. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get this going. Maybe we'll use a knife to do a little stir in that. That's all we need, I believe. Got a piece stuck on the side. That should be good for that. Let's go ahead and do well, let's just set that there. That's gonna be fine back there. Let's go and do this drink. I'm curious to see. What the deal is. This white, white, white powder. It's like sugar, actually. Well, it's a little bit like lemon. Let's see if it has any directions on how much to mix it with. Ah, uh, looks like 250 mil, which is about what this glass is. It looks like those drinks you get in the Spanish drinks, but those are in a green bag. If it is, it's probably not going to taste real super good. Um, but you just never know. You never know. That will mix. Let that do its thing. I don't think we need the plastic there. Kind of getting her way. We don't need that. Got to clean the table off. I know how you guys get. Move this out of the screen. Some of you guys, I don't know, losing it. There's stuff on the table. Losing it. All right. This was our uh, cinnamon cake. The cinnamon cake looks pretty good. Look at that. Cinnamon cake smells pretty good. It smells really good, actually. I'll kind of unravel it there. Maybe leave it over there to the side. Come back there in just one second. Let's unpack the the fruit pate bar. It should be like a jelly bar. It is like a jelly bar. It doesn't really say what kind of fruit anywhere on the package. It says fruit jelly. Okay. Similar to the uh, French rations. I'm going to go and unpack our chocolate bar here. Looks like a kind of a standard issue European. It looks very similar to the German ration chocolate bar we just did. The same color wrapper. That's a little bit different. Nice dark chocolate. That smells very, very delicious. So let's see, that's pretty much it. We'll be back in one second when remains are done. Okay, 15 minutes later, 15 minutes I put them in the, the heaters. They're still raging hot, the heaters are still seeming. Everything seems good. I tell you what, I had a wasp problem today. Some of you guys may not care. Some of you may care. And they were getting around my fuse box. There was a tiny little hole. So, well, it's been going on for a little while. So yesterday, I squirted that hole full of silicone so they couldn't get in. Well, I didn't think about. There's probably still a bunch in the wall. So this morning when I got up, there was wasp all over the house and all over the pantry. So I had to play a little Jeffrey Dahmer with the uh, electric uh, electric tennis racket there and go murder a bunch of them, I guess. It worked out though. Yeah, this smells really good. This is the chicken stew and, or as they call it, plat cuisine, but chicken stew is actually what it is. And 
Looks really good. Looks like maybe some peas and stuff. I really don't know. We're going to find out. Put about half of it out there. We're not going to eat all this today. We'll chuck the rest in the refrigerator. And so the pasta bolognese. We'll check that out real quick. A little bit different than what we're accustomed to here, but it's basically like a pasta with meat sauce. Whoa, buddy. Don't need the whole bag out there. Just need a good chunk out there. That's about half of it. Set that back there like so. So let's just go ahead and, and try her out here. Let's go with the pasta first. My first is a little bit bland. Overall tastes good. Just not real super. Not real super flavorful. I mean it's flavorful, but it needs a little bit of salt and pepper on it. I'll do a little bit of this. Have a little crap everywhere. It's a little sprinkle on there. Yeah, man. It's not bad. It, um, it's not what you think. I'm not sure it's a tomato base. It's really good though. All right. The chicken stew. They have white beans, chunks of chicken. We have some peas, some carrots, a nice thick gravy. Let's take a taste and see. The chicken stew is really good. It uh, but both these have a little bit of the retort tap retort pouch taste to them, um, which is what you expect coming out of a retort pouch. But overall, I give them a whoa, buddy, that's a lot of salt. They are probably a eight out of ten. It's not a bad meal, and they're nice and hot, so it does kind of make that taste come out a little more. We'd definitely be glad to have it uh, if you're out fighting a war somewhere. Or in this case, even uh, on the floor. Even as a survival situation, you're out hiking, camping, just some food to take along with you. I have to say it is pretty good. Going back for more. And I bet you, I know for a fact that these are for the mains and what you're supposed to do. Nice sweet cracker is probably do a little bit of this, what a lot of guys do. Biscuit, I'm sorry, not a cracker, biscuit. Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. This, on the other hand, might be not beautiful. Doesn't smell like really anything. Actually, it's not bad. It has just a slight lemon taste to it. It's not bitter, not the, the vitamin potion that you get in the, the Spanish rations. Just the clear color is off-putting. Like a really mild, mild, mild um, lemonade is what it is. So, the star of the show, 
is definitely going to be the cinnamon cake. And dang, man. That looks really good. That's impressive. Look at that. Wow. He definitely smells some cinnamon and cloves. Hmm. You would think it'd be really dry, but it's not. It's actually pretty moist. That's a 10 out of 10. No doubt that's a 10 out of 10. A little coffee to, to wash that down. Hmm. And that's what all you guys are wanting. You're wanting to see that, that's for sure. Look at that. <laughs> that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is a really good ration. Really good. All right. So far, beautiful. I think we're down to the very end here. In the jelly bar. Try to cut this, get a cross section for you. There we are. It's like much of anything. Very soft, very easy to chew. Just kind of a, a general fruit bar. There's really no specific taste of what fruit it is. I think it said boysenberry though, but I don't know. It just doesn't really taste like it tastes like a lot of stuff mixed together. Mm. A, a slight perfumey kind of uh, aroma to it. But, uh, you know, overall it's not potent or anything. A little piece of the chocolate. Look how dark that chocolate is. Man. I would say overall the mains an eight, maybe eight and a half out of ten. The rest of it, the biscuits are great, the desserts are great. Overall, I cannot, I cannot say enough about this. It's a really good ration. I would get overall a nine out of ten, overall. And uh, if you guys are interested in one of these, I think MRE Zone still has a, one or maybe a few left. I'm not really sure. Uh, I know he has at least one left. Go check his eBay store out. The link's in the description. Like always, the link for the knife is also in the description or my Amazon store. That is it, guys. Hopefully, you like this ration. This was a very rare, it's rare for here, uh, ration. The Gypsoma or Gypsa, however you say it, pulled through on this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and we'll see you later. <laughs> Where's it at? There we are. Look at that. Whoa, buddy. A little too much. A little too much. There we are. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Now, you guys didn't think I was going to forget the gum, did you? Of course not. What kind of animal you think I am? Oh. Wow, it's a strong mint. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. We'll see you guys later.